Do you know how many advertising sales versus total sales that you're getting? This is a new stat that we've been starting to track and we've actually been tracking it for a couple quarters now. And it's just simply your advertising sales over your total orders sales. And what we want that to be is around 30%. That's just kind of a rough number. It depends on the case, it depends on the, the product, it depends on your brand. And when we see that start to get below 30%, that means that we're not advertising enough. If we see that going above 30%, that means our organic ranks slipping. And so what we started seeing in I love and my brand is it's starting to go up. And so that can mean one of two things, either that Amazon's becoming a more pay to play platform, which is most likely the case, or number two, we're starting to lose organic keyword rankings. And so we need to dig into our keyword tracker and figure that out. And so in today's video, what I'm going to be showing you is how we are going about this quarter improving our organic keyword rankings. And it's all going to start with backend search terms. Backend search terms is incredibly important. We take clients on all the time. And when we look at their backend, it's completely blank. Sounds very funny saying that, but when we look into their backend search terms in their, their, in their listings, there's nothing there and you're leaving so much on the table. Now here's the fun part. Amazon has now made a tool, it's brand new inside your brand dashboard, you have to be brand registered to see it, that helps you with search term, it helps you optimize them and it helps you get rid of duplicates that aren't needed. And so then therefore you can put in more search terms that you can go out and discover. And so I'm gonna show you in today's video how to upload those into the new search term optimizer inside Amazon. I'm gonna show you how we discover new search terms and how we go after the ones that you're already ranking for. We just need to optimize them a little bit more. So let me switch over to my screen and then we'll get started. Before we begin this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to be notified whenever we come out with great Amazon selling videos and Amazon PPC videos. So here we are inside my Seller Central account and I'm in my brand dashboard. And to get to your brand dashboard, you just come up here to brands, click brand dashboard, and it will pop up this screen right here. And we're gonna look at the search term optimizer right here. And so right here, what you're gonna see is a search term optimizer. It's got your products over here on the left it tells you if you're optimized or not. So this is what it says when it's not optimized. And then if we go all the way to number five here, you'll see an optimized one right there. You can actually put in your, your ASINs and your SKUs right here to pull up a certain product. And then over here, your search term analysis, it's just gonna tell you the amount of bytes that you're currently lose, using and how many bytes are low value. So 213 of 249 bytes are low value for that product. So we have a lot of improvement to do in that one. That's not the product I'm gonna show you today. I'm actually gonna show you a different product. So let me pull that product up and I'll show you how we do it. So what I'm gonna do is just put the ASIN right here and you can see that product coming up, not optimized. 105 of the 249 bytes are low value. So we're gonna come over here and hit run search term optimization and scroll down here. So you can see right here, your current ASIN search terms and you can see these pink ones are not high value. So what you can do is you can click on them and you can see why duplicated in product description, duplicated in product description, duplicated in bullet points and product description and product title bullet points and description. And so you can see why, and then like the word free, it's a filler word. You don't need that best is a filler word. So you don't need that as well. So what Amazon does automatically is it takes those out and comes up with this new one, but we still have about a hundred bytes that we can use. And so I'm going to click the edit button here and we're gonna to add to this. Now, what we're gonna do first is find other search terms that our product is already ranking for. And I'm gonna do that with a search term report. And so to find your search term report, what you're gonna do is come here to Campaign Manager, go to Reports, Create Report, Sponsored Products, Search Term. I like to go a little further back, go back as far as you can. February 8th to April 8th, we're going to download and then hit run report. And you can see that's pending. And so it will take a little while to populate. And then once it populates, you're just going to click download. Once it's downloaded, we can pull it up in an Excel spreadsheet. You can pull it into a Google drive account as well. Um, I'm just going to show you quickly how I do it in a spreadsheet, but you can also import it into your Google drive account. And I'm going to look for that same ASIN again. And so what I'm going to do, we actually separate them portfolios as well. So that works too. I'm just going to apply a filter here in the blog post accompanying this. I actually show you how to separate them all out into different, into each product. But in this one, I'm going to show you how to filter it. So we're going to go to data and we're going to add a filter. So let's add a filter. We're going to highlight everything, click on campaign name, click filters up here, text filters, contains, 
and then we're gonna put our ASIN in there. And so this will pull up all of that product that has that ASIN. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete all the ones that have fewer than three orders. So let me come back to the top. I'm now gonna hide most of these because we don't need them. We're just looking at customer search terms and sales. All right, so we just have our customer search term and sales. We're then gonna sort it by column two, which is your total sales. And we're gonna go largest to smallest. And so you can see our most valuable search terms are here at the top now, and they go down in value as we go. And so we don't really wanna worry about the ones that are getting fewer than three sales. And so we're just gonna focus on these right here. So I'm gonna highlight all these. We're gonna avoid the ASINs. And we're gonna go all the way down to about here. This is about two sales right here. Perfect. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna copy it, and I'm gonna open up Frankenstein by Helium 10. I'm gonna paste all those words into here. We're gonna add only a space and we're gonna remove duplicates. So after that, we're gonna hit process. And you can see this comes up with quite a few words. There's a couple ASINs that kind of slipped in there too. So we're gonna get rid of those ASINs. I actually grabbed a lot more ASINs than I thought I did. All right, so we've got all those words in here. Let's grab them. We're gonna go back to our search term analyzer and we're actually going to get rid of all these search terms and just put these in. After we do that, we're gonna hit save. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna come up with a list of terms that just aren't, that are low value again. And so once we have those low value terms, we're gonna get rid of those in Frankenstein. So I'm gonna kind of bring these both over and we're just gonna get rid of them over here. Okay, and that takes us down to 176. So we're now gonna take this, and of course make sure the terms make sense, but they should because that's what you're ranking for. We're gonna put that into Frankenstein again. We're gonna come back up here. We're gonna bring these in. And these are the ones we already had in there, so we're gonna put those in as well, and we're gonna process again. We'll copy all these again, edit, put them in here. You can see we stop at about swollen. And so we're right here at the end. And so I just need to take out a couple words. And so what I'm gonna do is just take out some that I don't know make complete sense. And then we have them all in right there. So 249 bits of 249 use, so let's save it. There's still one term that doesn't make sense. So we'll delete that term over here. And then we'll redo it. Hit process, edit here, get rid of that term, and hit save. So now we have 238 out of 249 bytes used, which is great. So that's a great start. That tells us that we're pretty much gonna have everything optimized at this point. So I can hit publish here, and it will publish this. But let's say you've gone through both combining your current search terms with the ones from your search term report, but you still have more that you could probably add. And this happens more often than not. And so I got lucky that I could fill them all with just my search term report. So if we wanna find more keywords, you can see it's published now. We're gonna go over to Cerebro. So let's jump into Cerebro by Helium 10. And we're gonna grab that ASIN again. We're gonna click it in here. We're gonna get keywords, new search. And this is gonna pull up the search terms that you rank for organically, and that's what we're gonna be looking for. And we're gonna do the exact same process we just did. And so I'm only concerned with, we're gonna do advanced filters, um, organic rank, we'll do one through 10, and then I'm only concerned with search volumes of over 100. So let's see what that brings us. So we have 59 keywords now, and so that's a pretty good list, so let's just kinda of download that. We'll export it into an Excel again, and then we'll pull it up. And then what we're gonna do here, same thing. We're gonna come over here, highlight everything. Of course, make sure it makes sense. So I see a couple on there. Let me actually go through that again. You can see makeup brush doesn't make sense. Those are competitors right there. And you're just kind of wrong order customer service. That doesn't make sense. Super sensitive skin stuff, don't really like that. Um, I'm gonna get rid of some of these brand names that I know we don't really go against. 
These are brand names. Um, the rest of it looks okay. Caffeinated face wash, we don't really apply to that. All right, so let's try this. So what I'm gonna do with this is, you can see we're organically ranked number one for almost all these terms, which means we might not have to index for these, so you could go after maybe some higher organic ranks, but you'll take this from Cerebro, and we're gonna put these all in here. Same thing, add only spaces, remove duplicates, and hit process. And so you can see all of these right here. So 461, so this is kind of where you can start adding more to those search terms. So what I would do is just snap it right beside it, and I'd just add search terms until I started filling this up. And I would sort it before coming into here by search term and get the ones that have higher search terms. But you can just kind of go through this, see what makes sense for your product. So I could actually add a little bit more. Oil is just oil spelled wrong. So that would be a good one to put in there. Um, we could try cleanser. I don't know if it's gonna fit. But you can see cleanser is a low value because we already have it. So we'll take that one back out. And then let's do let's do oil. Um, foaming, let's try foaming, let's see if it fits, yep, it fits. And you can see foaming already in the title, so it doesn't matter. So we'll take that out. Um, let's look at cleansing, I don't know if this is going to fit. Yeah, it's not going to fit, let's try taking oil out. Oh, not cleansing, there we go, let's see, yep, that's a low value as well. So I'm just kind of trying different terms until we get what we need in here. Let's try blemish. Yeah, blemish is good, and I think oil will still fit. So now we've used all of our bytes that we need. We just hit publish, and that's it. So you can do this for each of your products. It doesn't take long at all for your products, and it gets rid of 66 bytes of low-volume terms, replaces it with better volume terms, which means a higher organic rank, which means you're going to rank better organically, which means more sales. So I hope you enjoyed this video on back-end search term optimization in using Amazon's new tool. We also used Frankenstein by Helium 10 and Cerebro by Helium 10 in this. And so to support this channel, make sure you click those affiliate links down in the description and down in the comments down below. And then hit that little subscribe button to be notified whenever we come out with great videos just like this one.